All right, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to start um, our second half of converting rates. And um, today we're talking about double conversions. Okay, this next part is about double conversions. Say, so, well, I have no idea what that means. Well, that's why I'm teaching it to you, okay? So you may, some of you that have worked ahead on your homework, you may have realized, you may have seen something that looks like this. I'm going to show you how to do it. If you have no idea, don't worry about it. Okay, so... Uh, the first thing I want to do, I do want to point out just really quickly, there is one, there's no vocab, but there is one quick reminder today. Um, and we've talked about this before. Uh, if we have something like one halves, one half times three fifths times two thirds, remember it's all multiplication. Okay, remember when you multiply, you multiply straight across. Now, when it comes to fractions, you can actually cross reduce. Okay, obviously cross reduce or cross cancel here, but you can also cross reduce this and way over here. Okay, you remember that? And you, and remember the reason why, of course, and you know, some of you guys are wondering the answer, right? It's one fifth. But if if you're wondering why, remember, remember commutative property of multiplication, meaning that we could easily flip flop those two and still get the same answer. Or associative property of multiplication, meaning that you could have multiplied these two to begin with and then multiplied by that one. Okay, So because of that, and it, because it's all multiplication, we could reduce even if it's not neighbors or right next to each other. Okay, Any questions about that? Okay, here we go. Alright, on our Okay, so for our examples, okay, let's go ahead and on our examples, let's take a look on your homework. Let's take a look at problem number two. Problem number two. All right, so here we go. We're going to write the steps all over again, okay? But there is going to be, I want you to see the difference as we're writing the steps. So here's step one. Remember, step one, we're going to write the given unit rate. In this case, it's 25 miles per hour, so over one hour. We write it as a fraction. Now, remember step two. Step two was ask yourself, what's the difference between that unit rate and this unit rate? What's the difference, guys? Yeah, miles to feet. And hours to seconds. That's what it means by double conversion. All right? We have two things changing now. All right? So you do have to track those. So, I mean, it may even help for you to write them down. All right? Kind of like we did miles to feet and hours to seconds because if sometimes when you write it down you won't lose track of the unit ratios that you need to find in the back of your book okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and we're, remember we're keeping cross canceling in mind let's focus one at a time one not two don't get overwhelmed just one so we're just doing exactly what we did before let's focus in on the miles and the feet okay how many does anyone know how many feet in a mile 5,280, you're right. So, here we go. 5,280 feet in one mile. My miles are diagonal from each other, so that's good. I wrote it correctly. Okay? Now, here's what I want you to do. Go up to step two, put a little star next to it and put a little times two next to it because when it's double conversion, we're gonna do the same thing all over again right here. I'll put a little arrow right here too. Our next rate, our next conversion is hours to seconds. We just did a problem like that, right? How many seconds in an hour? 3,600 seconds in one hour. 
Now, remember what I just talked about when it came to fractions and cross-reducing and, and jumping one, right? Like I said, right here, two, I can do those two. Well, that means that hours and seconds, look at this, hours or seconds are not in there, but it is over here. I'm gonna put my one hour on top where it allows me to cross-reduce or cross-cancel over 3,600 seconds. All right, step three. Let's start, this, this is the fun part because if you set it up right, this is the easiest part. Step three is we're gonna cross cancel. So let's start right here. Miles will cross cancel with miles. And now way over here, right, the hours here cross cancel with the hours over here. Step four, let's go ahead and compute. So. Take a look at your units first. On the top, feet are left. On the bottom, seconds are left. And now, I go ahead and say, okay, well on the top, 25 times 5,280. Isn't it about now that you're glad we can use calculators? 132,000 feet. And then on the bottom, this is easy, right? One times one times 3,600. 3,600 is on the bottom. Now I'm obviously running out of room and there's a decent chance you are too. So we're gonna have to be kind of tricky. Remember, bless you, we're gonna go ahead, find out how much it is, right? Per second, so one second. So this we can call Step five. So to get from 3,600 to one, we divide by 3,600. So now we need to divide 132,000 by 3,600 equals 36.666, it's in bar notation. However, look at the directions round to the nearest tenth. So guys, this is the tenth right here. I look at the hundredths. That six makes that go up to a seven. So we end up with 36 and seven tenths feet per second. Double conversion. Okay, well, now that we're doing on double conversion one, some people are like, oh, can I do it on another piece of paper? Of course, make sure you show all your work, but, and you're, you really do not, for sake of keeping it organized and not losing yourself in your problem, this really is a big no-no right here. You wanna try to keep it all in one straight line. So that's probably why you might wanna use a separate piece of paper, because with double conversion and one where you're gonna reduce to a unit rate, it's gonna be a nice long, Nice long piece of work there, all right? You can do it on the back if you like, it's up to you. Okay, any questions? Okay, here's a problem I want you to try. Problem number five. Problem number five, okay, go.
Okay. How many of you need more time? Okay. Those of you that are done, I mean, it, we've seen it all So at this point. So you can should be able to handle anything on that paper. So you can continue working on your homework. Only needs to be off. Okay, guys, any one need more time? Okay, 30 seconds. Go ahead and please turn to your neighbor and share number five. Go. I got it. Um, <laughs> Okay, kind of let some of our conversations go along because I could see that people were helping others out. That's okay. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Very first thing, I'm just walking right through the same steps over and over again. So here we go. Step one is I'm going to write down what we have. as a unit rate in fraction form. So we have 5 tenths or half of a liter per second, so for one second. Okay? Now I ask myself, what are we going to? Well, 
I am going to, from liters to milliliters. And I'm going from seconds to hours. So there's our two pieces of information that we're going to write our two unit ratios based off of those two things. Okay, so here we go. Doing one, not trying to feel overwhelmed. I'm doing one at a time. I'm going to multiply. Let's do, I'll just do this one first since that was the first one I said. Liters and milliliters. Okay, how many milliliters are in a liter? 1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and put 1,000 milliliters over one liter. Not hard, okay? I just put it just like that. Here we go. I'm gonna do it all over again, but this time I'm doing it with seconds and hours, and we've done this like the last two or three problems. We know that there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my, since seconds are on the bottom, I'm gonna put them on the top. Again, if you miss up, just erase it and rewrite it, flip flop them, okay? But 3,600 seconds in one hour. There's a, my other unit ratio. And now, I'm going to cross cancel. So seconds here and seconds there are gone. And liters here and liters here are gone. So I say, okay, well, what's left in units? Well, milliliters are on top. Hours are on the bottom. If you're ever wondering if you did that part right, just check it with your answer. You should, it should match up. Milliliters in an hour. Now, from here, I multiply straight across on the bottom, and I like this. One times one times one is one, meaning there's not going to be any reducing happening. On the top is 0.5 times 1,000 times 3,600 equals, and I end up with one, two, three, four, five zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five zeros, and 18 in front of it. If I go from the right to the left and put a line after, or a comma, I should say, after every three place values, every three digits, I get 1,800,000 milliliters per hour. And that is our answer. Okay, questions? All right, second lesson, of course, just built on the first. It's a little shorter, but no questions on double conversions. All right, double conversions.